Okay, another little thing about reflections is that we don't always reflect over the x-axis or the y-axis, okay? Sometimes we have other lines to reflect over, and those will always be told to you before you start the question, okay? So you don't have to think that you have to figure something impossible out. It'll always be told to you first. So uh, let's, let's think about this here. There's a line for a, a, a way to describe this axis as an equation, believe it or not. The height anywhere on this x-axis, the height of it is zero. When the height is zero, you know, our y describes, okay, so this describes height. Okay. So when the height is down to zero, we can say that y equals zero. Okay? So what that means is anywhere on this line, which is the x-axis y equals zero. In fact, it's a line. It's a flat line, and the equation is y equals zero. Okay? Now let's think about it this way. When we are here, and we are not neither right and not left, we're dead center, then we have a displacement to the left and the right of zero. Okay? x equals zero. Okay? That's at this precise point. But what that means is that describes the x or the y-axis. This y-axis here, the y-axis, can be described by the equation x equals zero. Okay? So this line is y equals zero, this is x equals zero. Likewise, this line here, this goes straight up and down forever, is uh, one, two, three units to the right. That's moving positive. So this is called x equals positive three. And this line goes forever. And if we had a line like this right here, going forever both ways, one, two, three, four, the height is described as minus four. So this line has an equation of y equals minus four. Okay? Always understand, horizontal lines will be like this. Straight up and down will be just flat, like a good old x. Okay? So we can sometimes reflect over these lines. So the question would say, for example, I'll use this as shown already. Suppose we reflect the point um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm not going to use pre precise points here. But suppose we had a point here, and it said, reflect over the line y equals 4. Well, before, when we reflect over this, we go all the way up here. But now, it's saying, only reflect over this line. So how, that's where the mirror goes. So that's where our new point would be. Okay. Likewise, if we had um, a asked to reflect a point over the line x plus 3, and our point was right here, and instead of going all the way over here like we would with this, this is our new mirror point. So that's where our new point would be. Okay. Now I'm going to show you um, an example um, real quick. Okay. We'll reflect over the line uh, y equals negative three. Okay. Never mind all this stuff. We can get rid of that. Okay. And here's the point. The point will be. How about this? So the point is a is at 2 and negative 4. Okay? So this is the point, and saying, what would happen, what would be the new point if we reflected over this? Okay, there you go. It's easy to see on the graph what we're doing. Up, up, we're adding, okay, we're going up 2. Okay? What this tells you is that we're going y, we're dealing with changing the y value, the height, and we're going by 2. So y will be um, increased by 2, okay? Increased by 2, okay? Now, which is the x and which is the y? There's our x, there's our y. So really, this, instead of being 2 and 4, negative 4, becomes 2 minus 4, increased by 2. Increased by 2. So our new, our new point right here, a prime, which is here, is now 2 
negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. So therefore, we, I'm going to label it here, 2, negative 2. Okay? Always remember what we're doing. Increasing by 2, we can show it just like this. I hope this is helping. Okay? If it, if it is, let me know. If it's not, let me know too.